Do your hair tools look eggered? Stick around and I'll show you the best way to clean and maintain your hair tools. Hey everyone, it's Melissa Maker here helping you solve your cleaning conundrums. Today's question comes from Andrea in Kelowna, BC. And Andrea asks, hey Melissa, how do I clean and maintain my hair tools? Andrea, great question. Reason being, on our hair tools, we get a lot of buildup. Your hair oils, hair product, and your blow dryers get a lot of dust into the back intake. These things need to be cleaned and we spend a lot of money on them, so let's take good care of them. First things first, we'll talk about cleaning your flat iron. Now, anything I tell you about the flat iron, you can also apply to a curling iron. We'll start off with a microfiber cloth and a little bit of water. I'll just dampen the cloth. Oh, come on. Dollar store spray bottle. Okay, have enough water on the cloth, and after it's cooled down, I'll just give it a little wipe down wiping the exterior and I'll also wipe the plates. Again, they're cool, so no big deal. In the event that you get some buildup alongside these crevices here, you can use a cotton swab, just with a little bit of water, and clean the crevices just like this. Upon closer inspection, I found some nasty buildup between the crevices that I couldn't get out with just a cotton swab. So for that crusty buildup, I'll take a little bit of baking soda, oops, a little bit more than a little bit of baking soda, and just put some water in my hand so you can see I'm just making a paste. And then I'll just gently apply some of this paste to that area with the buildup. Then take a soft bristle toothbrush and start to work the paste into the plate or the crevice where the buildup is. I'm just gently brushing here and then I'm wiping with a microfiber cloth to remove the paste and clean up the plates. Now if you get a lot of buildup on the plates from hairspray or oil in your hair, you can use the exact same thing I did here, just the baking soda, water, and just rub the paste gently and wipe off. Don't use anything sharp, you will 100% ruin the plates. That's why I recommend using a soft bristle brush if you have to get something off either the sides or the plates. It's a very safe and effective method. So iron, thank you very much. You're now nice and clean, good to go. Next thing we'll talk about is the hair dryer. I love my hair dryers and I spend a lot of money on them. So taking care of them is really important. My last hair dryer, unfortunately, I did not know how to clean it properly. And what happened was, and I'm sure this has happened to you before, it had um, a lot of buildup in the back vent that I didn't really pay much attention to. And over time, I would use my hair dryer, it would overheat, and then I would get that really awful burning smell and kind of freak out. And then the worst thing that would happen is that my hair dryer would stop working altogether. So it would be smelly, overheated, and completely dysfunctional. And then I would have a bad hair day as a result, and that totally sucked. Here's what we'll do. First of all, if you want to clean the attachments, the nozzles, no problem. You can just clean it with some warm soapy water. You can soak it. If you use um, a diffuser and it has a lot of dried up mousse or product, you might want to just soak it overnight um, in a sink with warm water and dish soap. They're very easy to maintain and they're quite durable. The next thing you want to do is keep this back vent part cleaned at all times. Now, some people might say, you know, like take your hair dryer apart with a screwdriver and like vacuum it out. You don't need to do that. I have a really simple quick fix. Here are lay tweezers. So one at a time, I'll just tweeze the chunks of dust and pull them out of the back of the hair dryer. There you go, all clean. Now this tiny clump of dust might not look like a big deal to you, but I can assure you that is quite problematic. If there's dust blocking your air intake, the motor works a lot faster, therefore it overheats, starts smelling like your house is on fire, and then turns off. And guess what? Doesn't turn back on again. You have to go out, buy a new hair dryer, drop a whole bunch of cash, and get really pissed off in the process. If there's really a lot of dust in there, you can always use a little handheld vac, or you can just use your vacuum with a little brush attachment to get any of that dust out that is really stubborn and you can't quite get out with tweezers. Well, Andrea, hope that answered your questions. Now you have a perfectly functional flat iron and a hot to draw clean hair dryer. If you like the video, 
give it a thumbs up. If you have any cleaning questions or comments about the video, you can drop it in the box below. You can also find us on Twitter at twitter.com slash cleanmyspace. And for more cleaning videos, hit the button above to subscribe. I think the button's actually over there. You know where to click. It's that away. It's north. Northwest. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.